In this problem, we're going to look at how we can calculate the probability of a normally distributed continuous variable. Let's choose an example of bed, uh, Beep Beep's eating habits. You might remember who Beep Beep is. In the average month, Beep Beep eats about 120 cookies, and that's, that's about four per day. Now, he kind of uses self-control. He doesn't eat as many as he can, but, but sometimes well, that's... That's what he adds for, but there's that, that's what he aims for. But there's a variety. In fact, there's a standard deviation of eight cookies per month. So that means that most months he eats between 112 to 128. So that's 120 plus or minus eight. So that's a standard deviation of 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 eight. Now we want to know, given this information, what's the probability that beep beep will eat 134 cookies or more in a given month? Okay, so maybe 134 is the world's record or something like that. We want to find out if he'll, if it's likely that he'll uh, beat that, or when, um, how likely would it be that he'd beat it this month? Well, what we need to do is we get, what we're essentially trying to do is we've got a, a bell curve describing his eating habits, where uh, the 120 is in the middle, and that would be a z-score of zero, and it's eight to about from the middle over here. That's the standard deviation. And we want to uh, calculate the area that is 134 cookies or more, that tail over there. And the way that we're going to do that is with our, uh, we're going to calculate a z-score, and then we're going to use our norm s distribution in, in Excel, which gives us the area to the left. And then we can subtract that from 1 to get the area to the right. So we know that the mean is 120, the average. The standard deviation is 8. And the x that we're interested in, where the line is, this cutoff line that we're going to make, is 134. So what we do is we use our z formula for calculating the z, which is uh, x minus x bar divided by uh, sigma which is 134 minus 120, and that gives us 14 cookies. So he's, he, we want to know the probability that he eats more, 14 more cookies than average when the standard deviation is 8. And so 14 divided by 8 comes to 1.75. Now the area to the right of 1.75 here is going to be 1 minus the area to the left, and the area to the left is going to be the norm s dist Remember when we calculated uh, areas under the curve for z-scores? And so what we need to type into Excel is equal 1 minus norm s dist of 1.75. Now I could make a link to, actually, and there's no cell that has just 1.75. I didn't actually write that out. So I'll just I'll type in 1.75 in parentheses, and I press enter, and it does the calculation, and it's 0. 0.040059, and we can round that down. Go to general, and go to number, and we can give it one more decimal point, since it only has one significant figure there. 0. 0.0040. So actually, we can give it another one and change that into percentage. And 4%, give it another 4.01%. So that's the answer. There's a 4.01 uh, chance that Beep Beep will eat 134 cookies or more.